Yannick and I are now in this process. Yannick's developing a screenplay and uh, is wanting to see how he can start getting some funding on it. This is something that you have experience with. So I, I think us learning some tips and tricks as well as just the audience, anybody listening, making funding for a project mm-hmm. in general is just a, a, a very good skill set to have. So what are kind of ways of going about it for you and in, in trying to fund a project you want to happen? So at the stage of my career that I'm at, I know some and I've asked for money, but like crowdfunding. Yeah. And like I can I feel I can make a mean crowdfunding campaign and like get a some money. Yeah. Crowdfunding <laughs> campaign. You know, and like get some money on that and there's like people interested. I feel like I'm still figuring it out that stage of like you have a company that can pitch projects, you know, and like mm. try to land like like the riot commercial, you know, or like all of these labels too that like need a music video. Right. So mm-hmm. like approaching like wanting like the artist to work with like these directors, right? And so they'll look for a company that have those directors. And they'll, you know, already have the money because they need that product. And it can come from like even small SoundCloud artists. That's what Maria Maria works at SoundCloud. And like his up partner. and coming there. Yes. And there, there are great artists who still participate with SoundCloud. They're yeah. majestic. And it's also a platform for up and coming artists. Mm-hmm. And it's not the people with the biggest budgets, but they have small like marketing budgets that these companies are giving them. And some of that goes to a music video. And I feel like in those opportunities is like if you can be that director or that producer, right? And like get those, like be able to like, even though you do not get a lot of money, like put your vision out there and engage other people that are looking for something that you can give them, right? Then you get like that break in. But that's like the money coming from the bigger companies, yeah. right? That's it's, like different than like a small indie project. Yeah, this is like you as an individual approaching yeah, companies, exactly. giving them a pitch. Uh, individual or a company, yeah, exactly. And or is like the artist wanting to work with the creative, right? Yeah. This person, I want them. Okay. Hey, we need this video. Oh yeah, I have this company or this like Stills from Miami. He has We Own the City, and he also works with Canada which is a great like production company and this is a this is a guy stills stills yeah okay. and he still has we we own the city and he also has his like all on own passion for like what he does on photography and stuff it depends on like how you want to get there but like what i'm trying to say there maybe is if you have the recognition or like if you can get that recognition like you'll get the clients right and the clients have the money yeah Right. Or if you're a company or a person trying to like a company is more legit, right? But if like if you're a company and like you have this creative, or if you are a person that has a creative that can pitch and you know someone that has a company, like approach them and be like, I have this and like pitch it with them so you can then get that gig, right? Yeah. And then little by little, you continue to, you'll get more and more and more clients, right? Yeah. But there are also many like grants that you can apply to, right? You can also, which a Google search will like allow you to like, you know, like if you want the money, do the work, right? Mm. Like, uh, that's for myself I'm too. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> like, Damn it. <laughs> go to Google and be like, filmmaking grants. And you'll see at least yeah. a thousand YouTube uh-huh. videos yeah. and like a thousand links. Yeah. People don't know how much this job requires just you looking up Google. Yes. And everything. And they're like, how are you so good at everything? Mm-hmm. It's like, I literally just look up a YouTube video. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and now we have ChatGPT. So yeah. now yeah. the game elevated. I've yet to use that. I, <laughs> I have moral concerns on, 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 on that right now, but. I, I maybe maybe 
I know I'll sell out within a couple months. Yeah, I know. <laughs> as soon as something requires you doing work, exactly. I think you're yeah, going to I just automize an email, <laughs> <laughs> circle <Hey>. back. <laughs> but so you can like apply for grants. There is also like competitions, right? That will give you some money. And so what you can do is get this same idea. And I think it's like all of it, it's in the logistic, right? Even mm -hmm. asking for money, where you know, how you know your project, how much pre-production work you've put mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. And if you need to like revise it several times until you get it right, on the sense of like, you have a project, you feel passionate about it. You do a $2,000 version of it, right? But yeah. still being mindful, treating it like a million dollar version of it, right? Totally, totally. And then like you do that, you apply to some short films, competitions that have some money involved you send that you get some here you get something over there or you do you know now you have what you call a proof of concept whatever depending on how money you can get on your hands start building it do animatics right you get your thing you start getting the money and then your project will get better and then you'll get to the iteration where like you can send it to like an oscar festival though the story is bad then put all of that effort on that story, <laughs> right? Okay. Yeah. Like you also know your levels. If you, what you need exposure, do several, several bads, and then you do your grade, which you really trust in it, right? And then there is all the factor, like it will work or not. It can happen. You know, this is a risky business. Yeah. <laughs> art is not the, you know, people are not betting on art every day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. But, um, well, it sounds like, I mean, something very valuable that you said is knowing your like budget, knowing the exact like, I think that's mm -hmm. something that we we have kind of yet to do. The project's still kind of in development, but knowing from talking to other people trying to get projects done, the best thing to know is like, how much money do you actually need? And like, and where is it going? Where is it going? Yeah. 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 And I feel like for sure you need to know your project. Like, if mm -hmm. you don't know where you're pitching, then no one's going to give you money. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So, and I feel like it's all about levels. Again, like, you have the grants that we said, or we have, like, competitions that you can, like, apply to and make a mean pitch, right? Which you'll need to submit. And in that pitch, you need to have a lot of factors. Like, your, what's your vision, right? And your synopsis and your log line. How can you sell me this in a sentence? Or what's the story about in a paragraph? Uh -huh. Who is the team involved in this project? That's what huge. references can you provide me to this project? What what is the cinematography of it? What is the art? Yeah. Right? Yeah. What's the color scheme? Who do you envision as deck. the main actors? Yeah. Exactly. That's the pitch deck. That's your pitch. And that's yeah. what you're working. That's your story. That's what you understand. Yeah. I mean, there it's a budget too. You're like, I can make this happen for this amount of money. Yeah. yeah. Right, and, and it's showing the confidence on paper of like this money is going for this, this, that. Yes, yeah. it's and not like it's a crazy movie. I need a million dollars. Yeah, <laughs> great and, movie. And people know people, so like I feel like me doing. I think the best way for me to maybe like explain what I'm doing, like my ideas, is talking about Matitas, which is a project that I'm putting together. Yeah, because I'm following. Like this strategy for me and it's an independent film and I'm planning to not do it for a lot of money. So like I've come to like, I've been thinking of a plan, right? Of how to accomplish that and still make a quality project, which I'm proud of and I can use it to push, to push stuff forward, right? Yeah. So Matitas is this project that my partner came with and she's a first time script writer mm. and director and she has all of these creatives and it's a person that i feel that also has a message and an idea that they want to share so we have this project that is kind of a test but it can like there's potential right to like it like for us to move forward with ideas that we have in mind for projects together and like company wise and stuff but like that's early like that's very early in like you know development stages of life. Matitas is a project about a woman who is very sad, the state of the world, and like 
a lot of systemic issues and also like about just the stress of day-to-day life as a young adult coming to terms with like all your money going to taxes right yeah and being able to work a shit ton to be able to do some too and then seeing the world like burning around you you know so i I don't know (laughs) (laughs) not at all i feel we all can relate (laughs) yeah so we it's about that person one day she goes to bed she wakes up and plants speak to her and she can speak to plants wow and these plants the idea is that take her through a journey to how to cope with those realities and it's kind of funny too because it's fucking plants talking yeah, to you and it has kind of that like magical realism aspect to it and we're not looking to like explain a lot but more like to take people through this world i right? love that yeah so she goes to bed she wakes up drinks like her coffee and like the mood's different you know the air is different and she hears the plan and then we just record the plan nice. right and then we put voiceover on top of it yeah and then it's like we just will add like the aspect of like the living through different like through filmmaking right that's what filmmaking is is like bringing that magic through like different mediums to like make that a reality so we're excited for that and we want to make this project and we don't have honestly with us we don't have money to like make it happen uh, the camera i own is a dslr i'm not gonna shoot that with a yeah. dslr right yeah. coming to like the idea of how we're gonna get the money how we get people involved how again to the idea of like you cannot do anything by yourself so you need to bring the people in right that like advise you and like tells you like give you their expertise that's why you like bring people in right you're not gonna make the money the the movie and you're not gonna make it happen if you are trying to do it all by yourself so how do you bring people in too so our idea early ideas of is what you can like offer to people and how do you bring people in and how do you also allow people to have time to work on the project without having to like invest a lot of consecutive time on the project, mm-hmm. right? But be something like sporadically or like they like a, a passion project, right? You, if you want to make a good passion project, you don't, you need to plan it well because you don't go to someone and they're like, I'm trying to do this and I want you for all of this time and all of this equipment. And like, eh, you know, it's like people like, yeah. you're trying Respect to take advantage time. of me. Yeah. Like yep. pre-production. Yeah. yeah. Do your pre-production. So since I want them in the pre-production too, and so I'm planning to do this project, we are planning to do this project in like the lapse of a year and a half. And we've already th- been thinking of it for like half like half a year this timeline is also like flexible because we also take into account our time right that we also need to make money to make this project happen Mm -hmm. and trying to bring balance to be able to actually accomplish it and even though i feel like a year and a half sounds a lot well that's what it takes to do something that like it's worth like really you know putting out there yeah Uh, you can do things you can do smaller things or faster things. Makes sense? If it's what makes sense to you at that time to be able to like get the exposure you wish. But like to bring quality in, right? And to like make it to the idea for us is we're tweaking the story, right? We're going to start revisions with people, sending it for feedback, all that. How people understand the story, what which should be what are we not taking into account, right? I feel a lot of people do not ask for feedback. You need to ask for yeah. feedback and you can do that's it at big. any point, at any point, because that's what will allow you to see where yeah. you're not seeing, because you're not seeing it. And then you make the whole movie and yeah. everyone will see it, but you never saw it because you didn't ask for feedback. And, yeah. and you're like, fuck. And it's not necessarily that you're wrong in whatever you no. said. It's just you have in your head, you have certain assumptions that people will put one and two together and be like, oh, this means this or this implies this. Mm-hmm. 
and it's not a yeah it's just a matter of how it comes across and how you're expressing it not that mm -hmm. your ideas are wrong or or uh, sometimes you you know you you make an offensive joke or something but it's it's not that's something you intended it's just the way it's coming across so yeah yeah it's yeah. super important and uh, to take that ego out because it's not it's bad. usually even because it'll you intended harm. something to do it'll harm your art yeah the ego will harm your art I yeah and that regardless yeah asking for the feedback on the script continues for us to work on like logistics doing the breakdown of the script right getting the scripts in understanding what do we need to make it happen on all the aspects so we can like start working on the budget, seeing what equipment we need, how many locations we need, how many, how much talent we need, right? All of those things that translate into money on a useful project, right? So after breaking down the script and doing all of the ideas and doing the location scouts and start working on like equipment list, art list, you know, breaking that up, mm -hmm. thinking about it, reach out to key members of production get yourself a production designer get your cinematographer get the editor you know start looking for the talent someone that like can be with us that it's it's mainly one character the whole story get our one like main talent get our a word a stylist involved as well and start talking about like all the creative and pitch your story and be like this is our story. This is what it means to us. This is our treatment, basically, that we're going to create. This is our budget. This is what we're planning. And this is what we hope to get. And we know that we need this much for us to be able to, like, pitch this story and make sure that, like, gets the attraction and people really see the vision of it. We need your help. But right now, we don't have money. So we just want to talk with you. We'll create decks. And, you know, and start talking about it. And in there, you just got to be creative too on what, like, what you can offer. Are you trying to do a feature? Be like, we're going to do this. And this will want to involve you now. We want to do the short. We're looking to, like, collect this money and give you this. And we're also looking to pitch it to make it a feature. And mm -hmm. if, and you can be, and we want for you to be the person that, that does the production design for it. So, like... Be honest about those things. Offer those things. And when you say those things, what do you mean? And you've given me some great suggestions here. I'm trying to get you to repeat those. <laughs> so that one. So one is like their involvement. Then talking about like when you talk about, let's say like you offer a percentage of the gross income of it. Even if you don't make money or if you're not planning to do money. You're talking about like ownership of the project and not the growth, sorry, the net. The whole idea of it is just for to give them the idea of the property of the project too because you want them to feel passionate about it. You want them to be involved and then also bring them early and being able for them to like connect with the project would also allow for it to be the better that it can be. So the best that it can be. So our idea is to bring these people early in the project, talk with them, Try to make them feel passionate, uh, explain to them how much we expect to like pay them if we're able to collect all the whole amount, negotiate those things, and then understand what would they need to make it happen as well, mm -hmm. right? How much money do you need for you to build this and this and this and this, for you to bring this and this uh, and this with every department, right? And, and that honesty... Um will then allow the other person to kind of meet you in the middle because they're like, hey, like, thank you for, you know, I, you did this when we were working on the project. You're like, hey, this is the amount. The actual amount is actually a little bit more, but that's kind of the, one of those production things where you don't mention the full amount because then you have a buffer kind mm -hmm. of a thing. But you just upfront told me what the, the full amount is and you being honest that way allowed me to kind of be like, okay, like I see what the hard line is and I'll mm -hmm. see what, what strings I can pull on my end because... Mm -hmm. I now know like the real confinements of the yeah. project. So for sure. Honesty, yeah. For sure. And I feel like definitely for like a commercial, right? Like you're, like you're working on a music video where you already have the budget. But I feel like in this one, we are yeah. like, it's like you tell me how much you need to make it happen because I'm going to bid for it. And I want to bring you in before. Mm, I see this. Because yeah. I, 
I really want to understand and allow you to get what you think you need, you know, to make oh, this okay. project happen. If we don't get it all, then we're all making cuts too, yeah. right? All of us. It's not personal. But we'll make them. Yeah. We'll understand how to break that budget. And those are conversations that you have on your pre-production while you're talking mm, about actually. budget, where you're doing your script breakdown, all of that. You start understanding yeah. where that money goes, right? Now I see you're saying you're doing the you're not making the budget by yourself on your own guesstimates. You're talking with people as you're putting it together. For this project specifically. Yeah, but I yeah. think it's a good tip in general too. Yeah, I feel like yeah. it's the whole idea again of like ownership, of like feeling like a connection mm. with the project, right? This is like we're all you have passion about cinematography, you have passion about art or set design or about styling. I want that passion. Yeah. I have a passion for putting this project together. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to make it by myself. I don't know about styling. I can like try to like figure something out, but Google does not help with taste. Totally. You know? So that's something that where you bring the people in. So Bring these people early, talking with them, trying to engage them, explaining what we can give, explaining like our goals, being upfront about it, and creating those decks with them, right? Then we are going to start working on like storyboards and animatics as well. For where Maria and myself, we're going to act out the project and we're going to record it, Mm -hmm. understand the different like angles yeah. you know the different how everything works how it cuts how it cuts down basically a- together yeah animatics or previs mm-hmm. just for those that don't know is recording either on an iphone or digitally a very rough version of what all the movement is and all the camera angles so our idea is to do several versions of the animatics for us to understand the project because the way that we're planning to shoot this is since it's a very personal story and there most of the characters are plants and then the main character of the story, I'm going to do the cinematography. Maria's going to do the directing. Uh, we both are going to be handling the production of it. We're going to have an assistant who's going to be like person helping us with all of it. And then we're going to have a sound person. Yeah. Right? And we're trying to keep it very, very simple. But for... Us to keep it that simple and for it to come out good, then we need to know what the fuck we're doing. Yeah. So that's mm-hmm. the whole purpose of the animatics, of the storyboards, of bringing these people early. So we know what we need. We understand like what it will take to make it happen. And then we just go and do it just us with the minimal amount of people and keeping it very cheap. And so now you're also offering like to these set designers and these people their involvement, but they do not need to be on set, right? Totally. And that's how we're trying to like work it out. Mm-hmm. And maybe there is one or two days that it's big. Okay, we can work with that. We can get that money. And so keeping all of that in mind, having that approach to it, and because also the intention of like keeping the days short rather than long, being able to like, shoot a lot of it with our permits too, right? Mm-hmm. So that doesn't allow to like bring equipment to set on the ground or to like block like space for people to walk. But you can do a handheld and you can bring an assistant with like a reflector or like any kind of like, you know, yeah. things that are going to help you like achieve it. You can have your talent come makeup ready. You know, we're not trying to do a movie where like the character goes and like through a whole action sequence and then comes out of it and her hair is perfect you know yeah. like that's not like that's not what we're trying to do here for this specifically a specific plot project so keeping all of that in mind we're trying to like go for a crowdfunding by the end by october mm-hmm. putting the whole deck together getting the treatments the animatics all the opinions of these people getting the also all the bios making a pitch deck basically yeah. putting it on our crowdfunding uh, yeah. platform which we're still yet to define from like the different options what works better for us think well on your crowdfunding on like all the aspects do your research look at what other people's doing what they are offering for 
back for money, yeah. right? So like the associate producer credits, yeah, you know, a for context uh, when there's like a crowdfunding thing, there's like different tiers. So if you give twenty dollars, you you just get like a thank you email. If you do fifty dollars, you you get a poster yeah. and a thank you email. If you do a hundred dollars, you be, you get a credit in the in the back of the films, mm-hmm. and in, in the credit sequence, and then. Um, people get all sorts of find all sorts of creative things to make these rewards more interesting and appealing to um, yeah. people. And I'm a big like template person, you know, in the sense what I mean with that is like every often every company I've worked with, I'll save their templates and I've made my own. So that's how you make it happen. You know, that's how you know that you're doing the right thing. So look at other people's Indiegogo, see what other people are doing, what they're offering, what they put together, look their approach, and then just do it but your own way. So I feel that then you have the whole marketing side of it. So in marketing, right, it's like how you're approaching the people to be able to donate. It's not only like creating a great pitch, but now it's like founding, finding the people. Right, which is like your day to day person who wanna like support a creative yeah. person doing a project or the people that like want to like have that a associate producer or executive yeah. producer credit on a project. So these are people you are engaging with directly or are you while the crowdfunding campaign is happening and this is something you're doing on the side approaching people or are these people that you're just sending the crowdfunding campaign directly or yeah it's everything i feel okay. like you need to have a marketing campaign right they exist for a reason there is a person that does that for a living right so you need to if you're not going to bring someone in then you really need to think like what do they do so you need to create get a newsletter going mm, you know okay. yeah. make your um instagram Social yeah, media yeah. Presence, you need to have right. your social media presence. You yeah. need to be posting. You need to be engaging. You most you might need to pay for ad placement, so you need uh, to yeah. budget for that too, right? You so you boring. might yeah. That's the horrible <laughs> part of it. You might also need to do your press um, kit or whatever. Yeah, your press kit. You'll need to make a press kit for when you're going to uh, the different. Um, film festivals yeah. and you're meeting these people and you know them to know who you are so you can do more projects in the future like if you want to sell it make something bigger all yeah. of those things oh, God, you can also so shoot something <laughs> most people will buy something after it's Just shot chat chat yeah. gp you know <laughs> so if you're if you have your bar mitzvah money so like go make your movie and then sell it you know true <laughs> you yeah. know like that's all always a f- I, also you can so do this Jewish. many I, i've yet ways. to have my bar mitzvah so <laughs> me too <laughs> <laughs> uh, looking forward to that money but <laughs> and becoming a man but i'm still yeah <laughs> working on it my dad okay. always looks at me like you're not <laughs> yeah <laughs> come on what i'm trying to say there as well is there is many ways to make money right yeah. how you approach it but just to finish the whole idea is like you need to think on marketing all of the ways that you're going to approach people personally and also through social media yeah. so you can get the money right yeah. to make your thing happen and then you need to think about film festivals too and you should be thinking about all of this since like the beginning and not thinking about about, about all at the same time yeah. but yeah. keeping in mind that you need to do all of those things yeah. mm-hmm. because and if you still have time you can work on that script <laughs> <laughs> Well, and it's and so because if you see all of that and you're not willing to do that, then the project's not going to be successful. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. So if you want a successful project, you need to understand that. And when I say that, it's not that that's the only formula, but it's that it's a very intricate thing that yeah. you need to do to be able to get it for people to see. You can create a project and then you need to get eyes on it. Right, so how yeah. are you gonna make that happen for your campaign? For then, when you want to do your releases and show it on like these movie theaters, and we're asking for favors for people, and when you're submitting to festivals and yeah. festivals, it's all promotional. They want to have the best Marketing, films yeah. to show them, so they become more famous. Yeah, that's the whole circle of life of 
the they want to sell realms. their tickets yeah blah, blah, yeah, blah, yeah they want to sell tickets so they want to have the privilege of show the first of those great movies so people go and buy that film yeah. festival a lot of a lot of festivals won't take your film unless you're the first one to screen mm-hmm. they're the first festival to screen your piece that's like right. a yeah big criteria and a lot of the big ones and so when you think about your festivals and where you're sending it and all of that and what you're gonna need for it so then you send it around the world right you do all of your stuff and then you do your next project. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you do it all over again. And then you do, mm-hmm. but I feel like, and that's beautiful, you yeah. know, and that's great. You like put, you created that and that's yeah. like your thing and you did it well. And whatever it is, I've, I did margins with Emanuela Vos Bouvier. Um, we started on 2020 and we wrapped it up like beginnings of 2022. Like it was like the end of it. And but there are still some things that, you know, are around that you still yeah. need to like think about. But I'm proud of it. It's not the best thing in the world, but I'm proud I did that yeah. and that I did it the best I can. And now the next one, I want to do it better. And so if you're going to do your independent films, then you have a lot to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is this podcast is also very shamelessly our our part of us setting us ourselves up to raise money by having social media a presence and just, I mean, we also enjoy doing it, but like is kind of part of growing our, our thing, our little indie knot. Yeah. No, but making mm-hmm. a community. Like yeah. it's, I find it interesting where like, I mean, I've never done any of this process. My, my usual producing and film is like, Oh, let's make this five minute short that I made. And mm-hmm. then we pop it on YouTube and that's that. Um, and it's for which fun and it, which is great. And mm-hmm. uh, yeah, and we're uh, trying to navigate into this next level of we could keep doing that, um, but we want to do more. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't want to just plop it on YouTube and there, that's that. It's, it's interesting that you're talking about wanting to make the community first before yeah. um, actually getting the film going, like like getting everybody involved creating awareness through social media and getting people like uh, newsletters and, and all that. Like uh, for originally I would think that that comes like you made a project and then you start like, yeah. Hey everyone, like there's a project, like yeah. get, get going. But like that, that is really um, the, the call to action should be happening first yeah. because then, then they're with you throughout the entire yeah. thing. And then you made the project and that they're, they were they had that experience of being a part yeah. of the project so of course they want to see it and of course and then that creates more projects mm-hmm. and it's it's an interesting aspect mm-hmm. yeah big takeaway yeah. yeah and for me it's like i'm doing this because i want to create platano productions right so that's my goal What's i want to show platano productions what is what does that mean platano it's plantain I knew it. <laughs> uh, so I hate plantains. <laughs> oh, plantain really? chips. I do. Though? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's like it's a huge so staple. Fuck. I don't know yeah. if we can continue. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this meeting's off. Am yeah. I muted? He's Am I muted? This Hello. Shit. Yeah, he's out. <laughs> um, so that's my goal. So I'm trying to do this to eventually get there with many other things that I'm doing right around that. Yeah. Like my livelihood and like figuring out stuff and also being happy and having a partner and being able to spend time with them and like being able to go skiing and being able to like do things and take time for myself and go to do exercise. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Cool. I'm going to be using this in two different segments of, uh, I'm going to have one specifically just for, it's going to be probably a 30 minute piece of, your short film and then that way you can just use that for you know if you want to talk about it and send that like oh yeah i talk about it on this podcast you don't have to but <laughs> i will oh uh, yeah it's just it's easy for us easy for you um bada bing bada oh, boom okay. um, it's your business <laughs> right <laughs> <doing> business here <laughs> this, uh, we also when... have this pitch which is the last 20 minutes <laughs> when he says bada bing bada boom bada you bing, know it's business boom, you know <laughs> yeah. capiche can yeah. we say capiche That's anymore <laughs> <laughs> i think we can't um but i feel really guilty asking for money especially mm-hmm. doing times of mm-hmm. world distress mm-hmm. there's a lot of things to donate to Ukraine, whatever it is, um, what would you say if somebody says they feel guilty to raise money for 
their personal project during such a time. I hear you. That's very valid, honestly. Um, I feel like it's all where, what are your intentions with the project, right? Even if you're trying to do the most silliest thing ever, then good. Then try to do good somewhere else, you know? Pay it forward, right? Mm -hmm. Someone's giving you money to be able to accomplish your goals. So if any day you can do the same for someone else, do it. Pay it forward. And then independent filmmaking is hard because there is many things you need to do and a lot of things you need to think about and a lot, a lot of time and resources. But it's always good to think about the message that you're trying to give at the end of the day and who is trying to share the same message as you and amplify them through mm. your story. So you can do that through your like social media or as you present your project and just like mm -hmm. use the platform that people allow you to have to amplify the people that's actually doing a more like in the ground level work rather than mm -hmm. the more creative or like creating awareness kind of work. Yeah, Doesn't using that like platform. That. Uh, Reverend Leo DiCaprio giving a big speech on environmentalism Yeah, because yeah. there was any snow. They had a hard time finding snow for the movie kind of comes to mind. Okay. Yeah, no, he feels motivated by it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he used yeah. a platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Many for ways sure. to, to save the world, yeah. I suppose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And people will always have something to say also. So like you make sure you're doing your best and that you're good and then like, you know, people will always have something to say. I say that like, like the first judge thing, yeah, yeah. I feel the feel, the first thing that came to mind when you think said the Leonardo DiCaprio thing is like of how many people I've heard like saying like, oh yeah, you know, yeah, Leonardo DiCaprio like talking about you know like if you seen it more for like him trying to like amplify himself yeah. rather than oh, like the situation you know or like shit like I was like who he knows or like he goes to his house after and he's like uh, yeah. you know uh, so what he raised a bunch of awareness for exactly. environmentalism so exactly so like you know he what you're doing he gets to brag about it and you know what you're doing so like people are gonna like question you regardless that's yeah. what the world does yeah yeah so